Good morning, friends. Today, I am coming to you from our set for Staycation Bible School, which starts tomorrow, Monday. And you know what? It's going to be on a special Facebook page. It is called Bethel Staycation Bible School 2020. And all you have to do is like that page and then it will come up so you can see it. It'll start at 9 a.m. But you know what? If you're busy at 9 a.m. and not able to see it, maybe you're at uh, somewhere that doesn't have access to uh, a device that you can watch Facebook on, then you know what? You can catch it later because it's recorded so you can see it at a different time. Well, I really want you to join me. And so today, I thought that our Bible stories today I would go over what we're going to be learning next week in Staycation Bible School. Well, as you can see, it looks like I'm on the set on a job site because our theme this year is concrete and cranes. We well, might be wondering, what does concrete and cranes have to do with the Bible? Well, we know that all of the stories in our Bible are true. That's right. They're all true. That means that they all really, really happen. And so all of these stories that you'll hear this week at Staycation Bible School are all true stories that come from God's Word, from the Bible. And Concrete and Cranes, well, Concrete and Cranes is really about a foundation and what, when you're building, you need to have a foundation that's firm. And just like in your life, you need to have a foundation that's firm. So a firm foundation comes from knowing Jesus. When you know Jesus, he can be your firm foundation. And you know what? That doesn't mean that, that bad things don't happen in your world, but Jesus is always there to help you through that. So check it, out, check it out this week. Check out Staycation Bible School. There'll be a lot of fun things to do. Some challenges, which are just activities, games that you can play at home. And there'll also be all of the songs and the actions you can learn. And then I would love for you to send me some videos back so I can get to see those. Well, our lessons that we're going to learn this week in staycation Bible school. And it's called staycation instead of vacation because you're vacationing at home. Um, because we are at home watching this. So it's staycation Bible school. So the first story is right here and it's Jesus chose Matthew. So it's a story about how Jesus chose one of his disciples, Matthew, and how important that is. And you know what? Jesus chose you also. Isn't that a really cool thing to know that Jesus chose you? Well, this comes from our Bible, and it comes from the book of Matthew. Matthew 9, 9 through 13, okay? So, Jesus, this really is a story about God's love, all right? That's what this is focused on. And then Tuesday... Here it is. This is a message about Paul. Paul listened and obeyed. Hmm. Do we sometimes have a hard time obeying? Well, obeying means that you are doing what um, you're supposed to do, doing things that you are told to do. So when your parents say, hey, I want you to go in and make your bed or go in and clean your room, and you don't do that, then you're not obeying. But whenever you do it, then you are obeying, okay? So this is a story about Paul, and this comes from the book of Acts in the Bible, Acts 26, one through 20. And it's a story about Paul, Paul listening and obeying, and about, you know, Paul did some really bad things in his life and you're going to learn about that and learn about how how he was forgiven so 
The main focus of this day is forgiveness. And it's going to be a great story all about, about Paul and about really about forgiveness that is only found through Jesus. Well, the next day, right here, it's Jesus prayed in the garden. And this story comes from the book of Matthew 26. 36 through 46 and this story is about Jesus praying and really it's about what we are worth you know we're, you are worth a lot to Jesus you count to him you might think that you don't count to anyone sometimes you just might feel like you're down and you know what nobody cares about me I'm not worth anything but you are you are valuable to Jesus. That's why you were created. So this is a story about your worth, okay? And what Jesus was willing to do for you and how Jesus prayed, okay? This is a great, great story uh, in the Bible, and it's true. It really, really happened, all right? So we can learn a lot through this. We can learn about how uh, Jesus prayed. And how we can pray too. Our next story is Jesus made a promise. Okay, so this comes from Matthew 28, 1 through 10, and 16 through 20. Well, this is about one of Jesus' most important promises that he made to us. And you know what? Everything that Jesus says is true. And all of his promises, he means them, and they come true. You know, sometimes I make promises to people, and I don't come through with them. I might say,